But in terms of Maidan, let's have a look at the, the first race that we're covering, which is the 4.39. I don't know who's making free. these. Yeah, I don't know who's making these times up. Uh, 4.39 and 40 seconds, this one uh, has to go off at. It's the Dubai Duty Free Group 1, uh, 1 mile 1, uh, on the turf, not the Tapeta, so we haven't got to worry about that. The Fugues in there, Dank, uh, Mishawish was, was the one that... Uh, Mishashish. Will Bowler, sorry. However, however you say it, I don't know how you say it. Yeah, Mishashish. Uh, that's the one that uh, Will Bowler uh, tipped up on, on yeah. the phone. Um, if you were Will Bowler who was phoning, who is, who is it that you'd be tipping up for this, Adam? Uh, like I said in my selections earlier, the Fugue. It's just she's just a class horse, you know. Mm. She's probably should have won more races than she has. You know, I'm not going to say there's any jockey area error in that, but she always travels really well. She's always bang there, and it's almost like the only concern I'll have with her today. I think we discussed this earlier. Um, coming back and trip by a furlong, you know, if she's not in the right position, she's going to be flying late. I just hope the line doesn't come a little bit too soon for her. So, but she's the class horse. She's the main thing is she's consistent as well. I love that in a horse. OK, um, well, obviously the fugue is consistent and, and drawn in stall four. I just want to have a, uh, a brief chat about the draw as well. Um, can make a difference at Maidan, of course. Only two winners uh, from across the whole of the World Cup meetings card last year um, came out of... Uh, they, they were from stall seven or above. There's only two of those, so you want a low draw. Notably, those two horses that won out of higher draws than seven were Soft Falling Rain and Animal Kingdom, so pretty much banged on classy horses anyway. Mm. Um, what we're saying is you, you need a low draw here. The fugue's drawn in four. Now, Dank, uh, the Sir Michael Stout um, with, with uh, Ryan Moore is drawn in 10, surely too high. Well, something's, something's going to have to break that, do you know what I mean? That, that, it, that can't be, you know, it's not going long enough to, to say that, oh, you can't be drawn higher than seven or eight to, to win, I don't think. But I do agree, it would slightly put you off. Or you could look at it the way, well, I might get a bit more value for my, for my price because Dank is obviously, well, a 6 to 1 in the paper. I'm not sure what price she is now, but 13 to 2, so slightly bigger than that. You know, for me, that represents a bit of value. You know, obviously, you say drawn 10, you know, it would slightly worry you, but twice a winner, a Group 1 winner in the States, and uh, Dank would be my pick, really. I, I think it's slightly, you know, very okay. well... Yeah, probably well, aimed at this race more than anything else. Well, it's a strength to strength horse. Um, we'll get a little deeper into this 4.39. Um, again, I don't know why they've got it on such a random time, but uh, 4.39, we've talked about the Fugue. Uh, we, we've discussed Dank, who I said strength to strength, it seems. Misha Wish we've touched on, and Luke fancies. Anything else in that field, guys? I've seen Educate right at the bottom of the field, one of Cambridgeshire, probably going to be outclassed here today, but that's something at a bigger price or, or a bit left field? Not. Maybe not a bigger price or left field, but we have to simply give the Japanese horse just the way I mentioned. Um, I, I think this is the one to beat in this race. Really? Uh, I, don't, uh, I, I don't know much about the Japanese form. I'm not a Japanese form expert and all that, but I know this horse beat Gentle Donna last year. And Gentle Donna obviously ran second to St. Nicholas Abbey in the, um, in the Shima Classic last year. That form, that form is good, quite solid. Um, good drawing too. I don't know anything about the jockey. Can't even pronounce his name. Don't know anything about the trainer. Well, have a go, the same have a go. thing. We'll have a go with <laughs> <laughs> is, Nanaga. Yeah, I don't know. I think we need to be fast the watershed for that one. Yeah. <laughs> has already had a prep race as one, and you know, as a horse going the right way. I just think the Japanese horse just away will, will take plenty. Beat. Surely not as good as off air though. Um, no, no, I don't <laughs> think so. No. Well, we, look, he could be another one that we see maybe for the. Um, the arc later in the year. Off yeah. is a, a very good horse, but you know, Japanese racing, very underrated in this side of, side of the world at times. They, yeah. they, have, a, they have a good system. And a, and a plum drawing too, and it'll be plum interesting. Plum drawing too, yeah. Be I, interesting I, to I just would market. say about the Fugue, obviously a very, very classy filly, but she had a late, she ended, she went through last season, ended it quite late, and now she's back quite early. I just wonder, you know, she does a lot of travelling, just wonder, you know, is, is today our day. Well, it was Santa Anita and then Chartin, wasn't it? So yeah. it is some, some globetrotting. Now over to Dubai. Anything else I was saying at Dubai, I, uh, instead of the Fugue or, or the more logical ones like Dank, that you, you're going to be backing, Adam? No, I'll be sticking with it. Uh, forget about her air miles. I'll be sticking with the Fugue. She'll, oh, probably, right. she'll probably break my heart again, but yeah. I'll stick, <laughs> stick with the classy, consistent horse, the Fugue. Um, so not Tass today, then. I'm obviously, um, Godolphin has a, has a brilliant track record. I mean, it is his track. Um, Hunter's Light, I suppose. Got, Hunter's you know, Light. Kieran Fallon, he's had a few mm. good winners for, you know, for Godolphin over the winter. Yeah. But just interesting to see how this season pans out now with Kieran Fallon and the, and the Godolphin colours. Mm. You know, he might just slip in there as, 
you know, it's, you could possibly say second jockey, but second jockey to who? De Souza, sure. But he could join forces. You know, Fallon had said before that he had thought about retiring because you know he's getting to that. Not not that he's getting too old, or, or that he's or he's not. I suppose good enough, but he's not getting the same rides and the mm. same ammunition as he used to get. So it's just interesting, you know, how this uh, if this carnival goes well for 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 Kieran Fallon. It could be a start to big things for the season. Yeah, well, he had a, he had a big win on uh, Prince Bishop, I recall rightly, uh, a couple, two or three weeks ago. And yeah. uh, if you if you know me, Fallon is is my favourite. He's the number one oh, for me. Brilliant, yeah. Fallon drives superb, and I hope he's got a couple of uh, you know golden years in him. Um, to be honest with you, uh, but we'll get get a round up of this race. Just just overall. Pin down exactly what your selection is, then we'll move through the card and maybe talk about, you know, you saying we can follow the jockey, Kieran Fallon. Have we got any, you know, up and coming jockeys or trainers to follow? But discuss that a little later on your selection in this race. Selection for me is just the way. Just the way. Yeah. And, uh, and yourself, Adam? The Fugue. The Fugue. Not the Heartbreaker, hopefully, the Fugue. <laughs> Jimmy? I like Dank, but, you know, with the draw, you'd be slightly worried. I'm not totally against it at the price, I suppose. It, it might represent a bit fat. It'll probably drift. She'll probably drift. But uh, I'd, I'd have to go with the fugue as well, getting an allowance as well off everything else. Okay. Um, I'd have to probably go with the fugue. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, maybe the trip um, won't be such a such a bad thing. And, and as I say, draw, drawn okay. One mile one. It's it's not too one dissimilar champion, to one the one Irish mile champion two. champion stakes, didn't she? Like. Uh, yeah. Of, you know. So. You know, she's, she's probably class the class animal, horse. Yeah. yeah, she's class. Well, I mean, that's the first race out of the way, and, and positive vibes for the Fugue anyway, but also a mention uh, from Declan for, for Just Away, the Japanese uh, horse is very interesting. There's another uh, two, I believe, recovering for Maidan, inc including that Dubai World Cup. $10 million, wouldn't you? You wouldn't mind getting your hands on that, would you? Um, you probably won't be able to, but you might be able to get your hands on a few tips and, and hopefully a couple of money makers anyway.